Um, sure. There's a, we had a lineup change. A CD um, is scratched from the starting lineup. Should be available off the bench. He's got a little bit of woke up a little bit of knee soreness this morning, um, but he'll he should be available. Uh, Iglesias is still out. He is improved. He improved from yesterday. Also, uh, he is still day to day. So um, that's about all. That's about it. All right, we'll start with questions. Uh, Rich Dubroff, you're up. Rich, come on now. Brandon, I've only, sorry, I've only done Zoom 628 <laughs> times. I'm, I'm still <laughs> um, hey, uh, How big a loss to you personally and professionally is, is what's required? Yeah, Rich was uh, one of our older players. We don't have a ton of them. So, uh, you know, one of the older guys in the clubhouse, uh, you know, somebody that's, that's pitched for multiple teams, had, had a nice run here, did a, did a nice job. The few years that he was here, he had um, came back from a tough injury, um, performed well later in the year last year, and was off to a really good start this year. Um, yeah, he's going to be missed. There is a guy in the bullpen that, that – with a really inexperienced group that um, sometimes has had trouble with command is one guy that we could rely on to come in and, and throw strikes and um, usually gets ground balls. And, and um, so it was somebody that, that I could rely on um, from that standpoint. And now it's just up to other guys. And I, I like the arms that we have down there. Uh, I think we're off to a nice start with some of these other guys I'd like to see that continue, obviously, um, as well as other guys step up and, and fill that role being able to come in and, and, and getting outs out of the bullpen and be able to work ahead in the count, which Richard was able to do. Um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's, um, it's hard to see him go, but it's an opportunity for somebody else. Is he being replaced on the roster for tonight's game? We have a roster move that will be announced shortly. John Neely. Brandon, I'm sure you've been preparing for it, but we finally got word that the Marlins are coming to town next week are there any safety concerns given given what what they've been going through the last week for you guys bringing bringing all that into this into Camden Yards well I, I think that you know I'm we're we're, we're trusting them MLB and, and we're I feel really strongly um, that we've followed the protocol so well here I know that MLB is on top of it and if they feel like that that um, they're comfort, they're comfortable with, with them playing here. Then, then I feel like it's it's uh, I'm comfortable as well. Um, because just because I know how stringent our protocols are and how and how they're keeping um, the players' health and safety um, first for everybody. So um, they feel like that it was that it's a the right thing to do and 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 um, positive from the standpoint of positive is a, a bad word right now. But if they think that it's uh, uh, safe and healthy for these guys to, to play and ready, then then we'll be ready. Joe Treza. Brandon, this, this is your third day without Inglacius. Um, during a normal year, would you would you guys have had to kind of make an, an, an IL decision on him at this point? And did, did the expanded rosters this year kind of give you a little more flexibility or leeway with an injury like this where it might be able to go either way? Yeah, the IL I'm not sure about just because it's only been three. But I, um, definitely it, you're able to be a little bit more flexible because you do have extra players. Dan Connolly. Yeah, Brand. to follow up with uh, John's question, did you address the, the Marlins coming in with your team? Do you have to do that? Do you got to kind of get a, a sense of, you know, their feeling towards it, or is it just the schedule? And kind of following up on the just the schedule part, you guys have now had like three or four schedule changes in the last week and a half. Um, how do you deal with that? Well, we just found out about that this afternoon. I have not talked to the team about it. So that just – that just uh, I found out uh, when you guys did. So um, that, that hasn't been addressed with the team. But I'm sure we'll, we'll talk about it. Dan Charles. Brandon, in uh, using Joe's phrase, uh, in a more normal season, the Blyer deal, is that done as much as anything to maybe make way for a player that wasn't going to 
get any development this year, or was it done for the same reasons you make other trades for? Well, that's something I think, you know, Mike's going to address you guys here shortly. I think that's probably, when it comes to acquisitions, those type of questions, that's probably better suited um, for Mike to address that later. Fair enough. Steve Molesky. Brandon, with all that's gone on, the cancellations, the Marlins outbreak, the questions you're getting daily, is 7.35 or 7.05 the time when it really gets fun for you and is it more <laughs> normal? You're making player moves. You're watching a game. The competitor comes out. I mean, is that kind of the reward, I guess, for everything? When the game starts, there's a little bit of a exhale, for sure. Um, yeah, it, it, everything's just different right now. Not not just for me, for everybody. And so um, your routine is not the same, and that's, um, you know, we're working. And we're happy to be here. So that's the attitude I'm taking is that we're trying to do our best to, to make this season um, work. Uh, we're going to, like I said many times, we're going to follow everything because we really want to play. Uh, we're following everything around the league also. But, yeah, our, our day is a lot different than, than a normal season for sure. My day is a lot different. Uh, but when the game starts, it does feel like a baseball game, and that is a good feeling. Uh, it's not a good feeling to not have fans <laughs> in the stands, but um, it's fun to watch our guys compete and, and we're playing against another club and it's the, the, the competition still there. So that's, that's, um, that is the nice break of the day. Dan Connolly. Hey Brandon, since you so deftly wiggled out of my deeply probing question, the second part of my question on the uh, <laughs> scheduling, um, <laughs> can you just, how much of a nuisance is the fact that you guys had that many schedule changes, you know, in the last two or three weeks? And I'm not going to let you get out of this one. This year we're adjusting on the fly, Dan, to dodge and weave. So it's, I think something, you know, every day there's something new. So I don't know, you know, tomorrow is probably going to be something else. So I just think that we're staying flexible. Um, I knew that there was something going to have to be on the schedule there, you know, at some point um, this next week. So uh, I just didn't know what was going to happen and when they would be scheduled or what. But I'm just honestly, I wake up in the morning. Um, I see what's happening around the, the world and the, around sports and around our, our sport and um, put on my fireman's hat and try to put out fires uh, until 7 35. Pete Gilbert. I want to see the fireman's hat. I like that. That's good stuff. Um, I, I, I might go with a whole suit. I might bring a suit in here. I mean, to even follow up a little bit more, but you, you, you hear Rob Manfred say, you know, to, you know, telling Tony Clark that, you know, if this doesn't get out of control really soon, the, canceling the season is a real possibility. I mean, you, you know, how hard is it to do the job of managing a major league team, which is really hard to do any time with this, you know, constantly added weight and it seems to get heavier and heavier almost every Zoom we do? Yeah, I got my fireman's hat on. I have uh, my counselor's um, paperwork. I don't know what, what they would wear. What, are they, what would they wear? A badge? Some sort. Um, no, I mean, this is – I don't think there's a class you can take for – for what we're going through every day. It's definitely not a pity. I'm not, it's not a pity party um, situation either. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be with our guys. Um, I think that there's, uh, there's serious issues going on around and we're very, very aware. And we're gonna do it, everything we can and do our part and to try to keep this thing going. We're hoping that um, it continues and we'll wait till, play tonight and wait till the, what happens tomorrow. All right, that's gonna wrap up Brandon's session. Thank everyone. Watching the Blackhawks? No, I haven't. I haven't. You? You like it. Huh? You look good. Kane and Taze? Kane and Taze? Studs. <laughs> Big time. <laughs>